Hello my soccer universe. I am back from vacation. I'm back in the office on the hair front. I can pull them all together. As a subscriber uh, once said to me, you soon can do a full Griezmann. I'm not yet the at Griezmann, I'm maybe more at the Holland. Somewhere between, a little bit further ahead than Holland, but let's see. Uh, in, in any case, fun stuff to do that. Um, uh, as you know, my vacation was in Bulgaria. I was actually really looking forward to present to you with a, another shirt from Bulgaria. This time not from the beach, but there have been some mix up, blah, blah, blah. I may or may not get a shirt. However, I have not been completely uh, ignoring the shirt buying business while being on vacation because I knew I needed, at least for my Eredivisie, I needed to have another team. And I have Ajax, I have PSV. I really thought I need I need more Eredivisie teams. And so for my first video back from vacation, I actually changed the background. Here you see all the, you know, it's kind of like a preview because I didn't make a, a video with my Eredivisie shirts and neither did I do for, poor, for Portugal. But I thought, ah, let's pull up the nations that are most present in the Eredivisie. And I was quite surprised. I get quite some mileage out, out of this Morocco shirt. I already had, had with Spain. Norway is in there. Did not expect that. Greece doesn't make much sense, but you know, that's interesting stuff. That there's the Dutch the, the, and the Germans and Belgium, that I would have expected. I actually also was surprised that Denmark is ranking so low as well. More on them in a different video. But so yeah, here is a jersey for my third ever Eredivisie team. If you know anything about the Eredivisie and my collection and what are my kind of likings, or, you know, what, what I've been looking for, you probably can guess what team this was. I have to say it already. This is, you know, this is hard to open. This is one of those that um, where it's very well packed and there is uh, tape everywhere and you have to be, make sure you cut it properly because you don't want to damage your shirt which is always the challenge with those shirt openings um, and I think he just took uh, this guy as a private sale he just took the envelope and folded a big envelope and folded it in half this is what happened here in any case uh, what I want I, I to say of that team he had two shirts and one that I liked a whole lot more because it looks better uh, and just when I was about to say, uh, please reserve it to me. No, it was just gone a few uh, hours sooner when it was lying around, I think for at least half a year there. So I was a little bit, and he said, yeah, he has one that is sponsorless. And I knew that it, uh, he has it, but I didn't really like it all that much. And you will see why in, in a sec, but at least it is sponsorless. So here it is, comes in original packing. No, it's not original, but you can probably guess already the team from there. It is here, he put it in, well, you know, one of those um, where I can put doc documents. So very, very uh, advanced package, your package in many ways, but I like it. Uh, the shirt is protected. This is the most important thing. And so even if I would have cut, it's good to know that it happened this way. Could you already guess it? Half half design in red and white. It is, of course, Feyenoord. And from the design here, this is, of course, from the 10 11 season. Uh, as I said, it's sponsorless, which I actually don't mind. But what I, what I was not happy about with this uh, design is A, the color looks a little bit weird. Um, but I show you, I saw or, already detailed then, you know, the template here we have. Right here we have red, this is a little bit weird. Um, and then also on the back, you see that the tail kind of this, this red part on the bottom. This is what I don't, I didn't like about the shirt. And that's why the other one would, would have looked a little bit nicer. However, when I see this now, it's quite nice. I mean, the crest, this is all plastic. This is really, really well done. The one thing with the Feyenoord crest, I always have to say that it's maybe even a little sad is that from a distance you don't really see the F all that much. That is, uh, and I thought about how could you improve this and I couldn't come up with a solution yet. So that's maybe something there uh, with you. What I really like is that they have written on the 
uh, here Rotterdam on the fold over collar which I actually I like the type of collar but what I don't like is the way the neckline goes it, it's just a little bit too weird for my liking but I have to say the shirt itself is in great condition um, it is also very well vended. All the logos are plastic transfer, which is something really nice to have because this is uh, uh, something that I don't do not take for granted. I have have to say this becomes my my favorite uh, style to have the logo. Yes, the cloth is nice, but that I think you get a little bit more um, for your shirt. And yeah, it is. It is, I mean, it, it, it is a good shirt and I will, I will be happily hanging that one and wearing that one now that the Lusk captain also plays for uh, Fair Feyenoord. It just is now, is now natural to have, have to get Feyenoord. Austria anyway has a really good connection with Feyenoord because uh, the one time they won the European Cup was under coach Ernst Tapper, who of course is this legendary Austrian coach. Uh, and so yeah. So here it is in all its glory. This is the way you will see it hanging on my wall. As I said, maybe not my preferred version, but I finally have a fan shirt and for that it's good and that it's sponsorless actually adds to its allure. I already see uh, uh, the other thing is that the red back comes a little bit more front. So, you know, it's not a perfect half-half shirt, but it's a fan shirt and that's the most important one. So let me know what you think about the fan shirt. Have, do you have fan shirts uh, in your uh, collection? I'm happy that I could not branch out three top teams, the three biggest teams in, in the Netherlands I have now. Of course, the Netherlands have quite some teams with nice jerseys, I have to say. So uh, that might be something for the next year or the year after to branch out a little bit in the Eredivisie because they really, really have nice shirts in there as well, uh, especially some of the smaller teams I really like. And what I do not like about the Netherlands at all is similar to, a little bit to England, but uh, even more um, extreme. Yet all the three big teams are in red and white, but they have very distinct designs. You have Ajax with the red center stripe, you have Feyenoord with the half-half look, and which, uh, and then you have the stripe look of uh, PSV, which was actually the original Ajax look as far well, as I know. So that's maybe the one thing in the area division that's a little bit uh, irksome, if you want to say. So yeah. In any case, let me know what you thought about the shirt. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.